Hello everybody, how's it going? For some reason I can hear myself through my speakers, and I don't really understand why. Um, it's not very loud, mind you. Uh, yes, so, oh, you can tell this is not a normal Let's Play at all. Uh, it is in fact completely weird, and for some reason Belgium has shit in my fucking land for no reason at all. Welcome to my England file! I said uh, yesterday on the Romania one, if you didn't see that, uh, by the way, you can go back and look at that, that I was going to show you a different file tomorrow, um, just to show off what is currently my biggest um, uh, land area empire population army thing. As you can see, I have about 3,000 units, uh, just over 3,000, I think it's 3,100 about uh, right now. So, uh, yeah, but uh, 3,100 units. Um, those units being mostly land, a large amount of air, and a very small amount of naval, because I don't like navy. Uh, I think that's my lowest production. It's 28. 62, 90, 36. So, I have like half the naval production as I do air. So, yeah. And to be honest, I don't even really know where any of those are. Um, but anyway, this is my English file. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys this file quickly, what I own and everything like that. Uh, and uh, I'm going to talk about some important things. Uh, one important thing, actually, that's coming up soon. I don't want the carriers there. So, of course, I have my homeland of England full to the brim with tanks. Mostly just tanks. That's all I seem to produce is just tanks. Um, I think currently I'm producing... Large amounts of GMT store hunters, Challenger threes, fair amount of um, chariots, a large amount of chariots and LAVs. But uh, for the most part, it seems like it likes to produce tanks, and I don't know why. So, but anyway, I'm not in the UN. Obviously, I said fuck the UN a long time ago. Uh, I've got most, pretty well all of uh, France, with the exception of some land. The Swiss have taken over, some that the Belgians have taken over, and some that the Barcelonians have taken over. Uh, I think for the most part I had everything. Milan didn't take anything, really. So yeah, I have all that, which is awesome. I have this random sliver and this here in uh, former Germany. But the Swedish, and if any, any Let's Play you're like, I wonder why the Swedish haven't taken over. This is why. The Swedish destroyed um, the West Germans. I didn't even see that coming. They just all of a sudden just destroyed Hamburg completely, and that's what happened. So, yeah. If you're ever wondering why I say I don't know why they didn't do anything, that's why, because they normally do. Um, but yeah, I have that random sliver there. Um, down here, it's a real mess. Uh, there's some land in former Serb Republic, Serbia, uh, Romania, Hungary. Um, Bosnia's still there. <laughs> Yeah, just really weird land in uh, former Serbia and Hungary there, and Romania. Uh, I have very s random swaths of former Romania. I think I have the largest amount out of any country, really, though. Um, also, you see the Belgians and the Moldovan people things there? That is literally a standoff. They are at war, and they've just been sitting there like that forever. Neither of them charges on the other for no fucking reason. It's weird. I don't understand. Um, okay, so next large chunk of area that is somehow connected is Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, and St. Petersburg. I went to war with all of them, because I'm just a total ego egotistical maniac. Uh, for some reason, Estonia still exists. That's probably because they're my ally, and I don't feel like destroying my ally. Although I easily could with just the forces that are sitting here. Um, for the most part, I probably could, actually. I could just... Let them do their thing, and they'd probably win. That's sad. Cause let's see, here alone I have 214 units, most of those being land. And apparently I have random aircraft sitting there. That's weird. Get out of there, it's not yours. Yeah. <laughs> So I own that, and I was at war with Moscow at one point, but uh, we have resolved our differences, and we are no longer wanting to shoot each other. Well, we want to shoot each other, but we're not going to. Mostly because I kind of asserted my dominance with a large force here of 108 units. Just here. Keep in mind, just there is 108 units. 
<coughs> excuse me. Should have drank a water before this. Um, yeah. So 108 units there. Also, Madrid has large random land areas. I think they're... Are they at war with the Western Euros? Uh, what is this, Madrid? Yeah, they are at war with the Western Euros. Okay. Everybody is at war with the Western Euros. I just like to point that out. Um, literally, pretty well everybody. If I wasn't allies... Oh, I'm not allies with them. I could probably kick their ass. I just really wouldn't, don't want to because Western Slavery is a thing, and that scares the ever-loving shit out of me. I think they're allies with the Western Urals. Maybe. Uh, yeah, they are. So they're not going to attack the Western Urals, which is a good thing. Because I really don't want to go to war with them, because I would probably lose. At the very least, I would be severely damaged, at least in my Russian territory, which is the next territory. Which is where the bulk of my European Air Force seems to like to sit, and I don't know why. Like, look at that, that is a ridiculous amount of Air Force. And it just keeps going. Like, so it's not. So much Air Force sitting there for no reason. I was at war with Kazakhstan, there's some more, briefly. That did not last long. They asked for peace very quickly because I was just took them over. I didn't actually want to dig over Kazakhstan, at least not yet. Because, um, again, that just scares the shit out of me. I know their tanks and shit are just absolute garbage and it's all Vodnik crap. And the best thing they have is uh, the T-80s, um, which again, aren't, aren't that great. Uh, against my Challenger tanks, Leopard tanks, and all that kind of stuff, uh, it's just they won't win. Even against my Centurions, they will not. There's no way in hell. However, I do not want to take that route because they have more units than I do, at least in the normal... Look at that, that's so weird. In the vicinity, they have more troops than I do. And that scares the ever-loving Jesus out of me. And there's some Kazakhstan troops trying to attack me, but uh, like I said, peace is now a thing. So yeah, I took over that. Uh, gained control of some fuel... Which was nice, because I really... At that point, I needed I don't need it anymore. The only thing I'm down in, I think, was electrical power. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it for... Oh. And there is parts of Turkey. When I was at war with Turkey... Again, there's like 100 units sitting there. Um, I was at war with Turkey, but they offered peace, and I agreed, because I didn't want to be bored with Syria, Iraq, or the Georgia Republic. Because that would just be a goddamn hellhole. I just, it would not be good. Let's put it that way. I really did want to go to war with the Northern Caucus, though. And I might in the future, once I'm finished with America. But, yeah. Same with Turkey. I'll probably go back to war with them eventually. But, uh, not in the near future. So let's move to America. Where I have... Oh, wait. Um, I think I still have control of the Falklands, yeah. There's nothing really there, but I have control of it. And it's nice to know that I have... DD... Different ships being produced there. Which is nice. And it's actually useful because it has agricultural and timber mills. So it is an e a useless piece of shit. Anyway, America. Uh, first off, let's move here. Uh, large Air Force in America, too. Like, just Air Force probably matches the one in Europe. At least it's close. Huge Air Force. And I'm going to need it when I take over some states here. Michigan and Ohio especially, they, they have so many units, and it's just ridiculous. But, anyway, um, so yeah, I have former New York State, former Massachusetts, former everything. Um, unfortunately, Kentucky helped me take that over, and it pissed me off because I didn't really want them to. Vermont and New Hampshire are also under my control. And so is most of Quebec, but Iqaluit has some, or not Iqaluit, none of it, has some. And so does Maine. So, yeah. I wasn't very happy about that, because I really wanted it all myself. But that's fine. I took what matters. Um, and those coal mines. And that hydroponics, which makes no sense. But I took what I wanted at any rate. I got Montreal, I got Quebec City, and the land. Uh, but yeah. And, yeah, New York State. Like, they're mine. I will take over Ontario sooner than later. I'm bordered with them now, actually. Um, and down here, I have this here, Cheesepake Bay and all that, and Virginia Beach, Norfolk. And I have this, uh, parts of the Carolinas, the former Carolinas, uh, mostly south, um, parts of Georgia, and parts, large parts of Florida. 
our mine. There's nothing really in Florida except for a small air force. Like literally nothing at all is in Florida from just that just isn't. And I also have really random things. Kentucky, as you can see, is my main ally here. They have the most units out of any of my allies. They have the most landed out of any of my allies. Taking them over would be a good thing, because I'd probably take control of 90% of America, but probably won't do that. So, yeah, I took over that. I have in here, which I don't even know what that would be, former Mississippi, Louisiana, uh, Arkansas, I guess. Um, stuff like that. Texas. Uh, large amounts of Texas. I took over Texas. That was me. <laughs> that was all me, man. And then I took over up here. Texas owned all of this beforehand. It was not in control of Nebraska or Kentucky. Kentucky was helping me take over. And unfortunately, they got the city of Dallas, I think. Uh, no, they got Fort Worth. I got Dallas. Yeah, I got Dallas. Okay. Ha! Ah, I got the good one that everybody knows. You suck. <laughs> I'm terrible. Uh, but anyway, I had to go, started to go the Midwest way. Oklahoma and all that shit. Uh... I don't even know where I took over. Kansas. Colorado. Colorado was kind of a bitch. I won't lie. That was pretty, a pretty bitchy thing. Had no units. But anyway. Uh, then I took over Utah. Utah was next. They were next on my hate list. So I killed them. With extreme prejudice. <laughs> so extreme in fact that I pretty much destroyed Salt Lake City. Just completely just burnt it to the ground. Um... Because in this game, don't you got to remember that uh, populations are nowhere close to accurate. Salt Lake City had like 500,000 people. Now they have 142. Not because of like emigration or anything like that. I'm still gaining population. But I just bombarded them so badly that everybody died. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, then I took over Nevada. I think it's Nevada. Yeah, Nevada, Las Vegas. Uh, which was a bitch in itself because getting over there, supplies were just... Oh my god. And I also took over whatever was down here. Uh, uh, wasn't Alabama? I think it was. Uh, Phoenix is that Alabama or is that Arkansas? I think it's Alabama. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Alabama. So the Mexicans helped me take that over, which sucked ass. Um, they actually surrendered fairly quickly. I didn't even get very far on their land, and they're just like, "We give up." It's like, "Okay, thank you." Now I have units sitting here for no reason. And uh, land fabrication there? No, research center. Whatever. I don't know what those units are sitting there for. They must have been repairing and I just forgot. Oops. <laughs> oh well. Uh, California was my next victim. Unfortunately, the Mexicans also were at war with them, so they got a little bit. This is where I got the bulk of my Air Force. I just took these. These all were all Californias. And I'm just like, yeah, mine now. And there's even more up here that I've been using. I haven't used anything really down here. Any of the Air Force down here yet. I don't need it yet. There's some there. And there's some... Ah, fuck off. Just some troops there. And there's some in here, too. Yeah. Lots of Air Force. It's retarded. I had to go over Oregon, Seattle. In Washington State. Just kind of nice. Uh, more Air Force there. Not really a big Air Force. I had to go over Idaho. Uh, Idaho... And now my troops here are moving in here and sitting currently in Grand Forks. And how many troops? Only 26 of them currently. And there is a patrol aircraft I don't want there. And that. I said move, damn it. Ooh, the slowest flyers. Anyway. So my next target is South Dakota. Um, my units are repairing here in this bar there's barracks here, if you didn't know. And that's where they are repairing it. So, yeah, I'm going to take over South Dakota next and uh, destroy them. Then I'll have control of that. Then I'm going to destroy Nebraska. Then I'm going to destroy what's left of Wyoming after that. So I have basically the entire Midwest except for Montana. Um, legit, I will have like everything. And that's Indiana. Indiana's right there. I'll kill them later. Soon. Soon. Funny thing is, is they're going to be invading me over here, but I'm going to be invading their home state, so it's not going to matter. They have a lot of aircraft, though. That concerns me greatly. <laughs> hmm. Anyway. 
So after that, yeah, and Nebraska and stuff like that, then I'm probably going to move. Uh, after that, I'm probably just going to move down, take over Tennessee, link up that land there with this land here, I guess. Um, also get that land for no real reason. Nothing really in it, but whatever, I guess. Sure, why not? Um, unless Indiana gets it. I don't know if they're a war or whatever. After Tennessee, I'll take over West Virginia, and then that's the end of the easy ones, pretty much. Um, after that, I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably take over Ontario, and then uh, Ohio, and then just surround Michigan. Because Michigan's going to be a bitch, too. But if I could... Excuse me. If I can win Ohio, I'm fine. If I can win against Ohio and that many fucking units, I'm okay. Um, yeah. Keep in mind, Ohio and Michigan are at war at one point, and I would have really loved for that to have continued, because then they'd be weak. But they're not. Yeah, it's gonna suck ass. I don't even want to think about it. Good God. Uh, Michigan won't be too bad, because most of their troops are away from home. And they're not really allies with many people. They're allies with a couple of people, never mind. Alaska, Alberta, blah, blah, blah. Are they allies with Wisconsin? No. So they can't even get through Wisconsin. However, I think they're allies with Iowa. Are you allies with Iowa? Tell me now. No, you're not. So those troops aren't moving anywhere. They'll just attack here, I guess. I'll have to set up units to try and defend a little bit. I don't want to lose a shit ton of land. But I'm going to gain a lot of units out of it. I know that for a fact. I'm just going to take a beating. But it shouldn't be too bad. If I enter through this way, I can just take the Brown Other Forces at Port Huron. And then probably take over that facility. And then just completely bypass Detroit entirely. And take Flint. And then move straight into uh, Lansing. And it shouldn't be too bad. I hope. And then from there, I'll just take over... Indiana and be literally done with America and then move into Mexico. <laughs> Kill off Mexico. I'm such a diabolical asshole. But anyway, on to my announcement, which I said at the beginning of the video I had an announcement. Um, I will say this again before I go, but I am going for a week to Holland. Um, yeah, on the 11th I leave. So there'll be no videos from the 11th. I will have one that Wednesday. Um, but there will be no videos from the 11th to the 18th, I think it is, I fly back. So, yeah, for that week there will be no videos at all because I'll have no way to make them. Expect a large swath of IRL videos to be uploaded after that, though, of my trip. Um, I will still do Supreme Ruler stuff, uh, but I'll be uploading IRL videos kind of in between type of thing. So, yeah, expect that to be a thing. No videos for about a week. I'm going to Holland. That is that. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this uh, weird video of England. Uh, my final stats for England. Um, population of 315 million. Uh, GDP of 33,000, which is unfortunately dropping and I can't bring up. Um, treasury of two point two, about $2 trillion. Uh, land area of 5.1 million. And uh, I guess I'll go with scorecard as well. Uh, yeah, I have the highest treasury. Obviously. Uh, none of it has the highest of that. I am fourth in the world for population. Behind northern China, southern China, and India. Uh, let's see. Tech, I'm second. Unit kills, I am top with, by uh, about 2,000. Uh, unit deaths, I am fifth. Though catching up. And I know I'll probably surpass a lot of those when I go to war with Ohio. For military casualties, I'm actually fairly low on the list. I think I'm, what, one, two, three, four, I'm seventh, so it's not too bad. Land area gains, I am top. I've gained 5.7 million square kilometers since I started. For military, again, I have the most in my military currently, with almost 3 million people active in my military. And, of course, for that, I'm top. And my North American ally of Kentucky is second, which is awesome. But yeah, that's a ridiculous amount of everything. Um, for land area, I am third. Uh, just behind Australia. And then I gotta get ahead of Central Siberia. Yippee! Um, what's this? Oh, United Nations member, okay. 
Yay, everybody is. They're outraged. Subsidy rate. Nothing. I'm a democracy. Not many theocracies. Maybe what this is. Total score. I'm not on that list at all. 23,000 total score. Diplomatic score. I'm not even there. Uh, economic score. I'm not even there. Which is odd. Probably because I've dropped a lot of money. Technology score. I'm not even there. Weird. Approval score. Obviously not there. Uh, military score, I'm there. It's weird how I have such low. Supporting voters, I don't have very many. I'm not even on this list. Uh, poll ranking, 169. That's not that good. Latest poll results, weird. Weird numbers. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Torchlight. Peace.